224. Today's date, also the basketball numbers worn by Gigi and Kobe Bryant. Thousands packed the Staples Center in L.A. today to honor the NBA superstar and his 13-year-old daughter Gianna. The celebration of life was filled with memories, tears, and celebrities who poured their hearts out. It's also the first time we've heard Bryant's widow, Vanessa, speak publicly about her devastating loss. I'm five months old, but this guy can do everything that the veterans can do and do it better, perhaps. Kobe Bryant. We are here today to celebrate. I'd like to invite you right now to take a moment to say hello to the people around you, whether you know them or not, to be grateful for life and for the fact that we are all here together. Mommy, Natalia, Bianca, Capri, and Daddy, love you so much, Gigi. I will miss your sweet handmade cards, your sweet kisses, and your gorgeous smile. I miss you, all of you, every day. I love you. Kobe was my dear friend. He was like a little brother. Everyone always wanted to talk about the comparisons between he and I. I just wanted to talk about Kobe. We balanced each other out. He would do anything for me. I have no idea how I deserved a man that loved and wanted me more than Kobe. God knew they couldn't be on this earth without each other. He had to bring them home to heaven together. Singers Beyonce, Alicia Keys, and Christina Aguilera gave emotional performances that had a connection to Kobe. He, Gianna, and several, seven others died when that helicopter crashed January 26th. The basketball players were flying to a youth basketball game at Kobe Bryant's Mamba Sports Academy in Thousand Oaks. Today, Vanessa Bryant's attorneys filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the company that operated the helicopter. The complaint alleges the company flew in unsafe weather conditions. There was thick fog at the time of the crash.